This is a story about Mavis the Pony. Mavis the Pony and the new arrival, to be precise. Mavis lives in Fluffy Gardens, a wonderful place to live. Our story begins with the arrival of the Penguin Builders. They studied plans, brought in equipment, and began mixing cement. They were very busy for a moment, and then they stopped for tea. I wonder what they're up to, said Mavis the Pony. They're having a nice cup of tea, said Wee Wrench the Puppy. No, I mean, what are they building, said Mavis. Wee Wrench had no idea. It was in town later that day that Mavis saw him. Someone she had never seen in her entire life. Just walking around town. Who's that? asked Mavis. But nobody knew. He had a little brown nose and some of the strangest hair Mavis had ever seen. Almost like a big bushy mane. Like you might see on a lion. Which was rather appropriate because he was a lion. Mavis the Pony had never seen a lion before. He looked very different, and that made Mavis nervous. I'm not sure I like the look of him, she said, and ran inside the bakery to hide from the strange lion. Mavis watched from the window as the lion walked down the street. When he was gone, she crept out of the bakery and breathed a sigh of relief. <sighs> That was just the first sighting. The strange lion was seen at the beach the next day. The day after that, he was seen getting off the bus near the post office. And the day after that, he was seen going for a walk through Blueberry Forest. Nobody knew who he was. Even Mildred the Mole, who usually knows everything about everyone, knew nothing about him. I've never seen anyone like him, said Mildred. I think he looks rather handsome, said Mrs. Toasty the Sheep. Well, I'm not sure I like the look of him, said Mavis, very nervous. Mavis just wasn't used to seeing someone she didn't know. She knew her friends, and she knew who she liked, and all she knew about this strange lion was that she didn't know him one bit. The next day, Mavis the Pony and Wee Wretch the Puppy saw the Penguin Builders once more. They were building a house, and now it was almost finished. So they stopped for tea. And that's when the lion turned up. Mavis hid behind Wee Wretch. What's wrong? asked Wee Wretch. I'm a little frightened, said Mavis. Of the lion? Asked Wee Wretch. Yes, she said, cowering. But he's my friend, said Wee Wretch with a smile. He is? Well, not yet, said Wee Wretch. But I'm sure he will be. Let's go and say hello. Before Mavis could object, Wee Wretch trotted up to the strange lion, gave him a big wave and said, Hello, I'm Wee Wretch. Nice to meet you. Mavis stood and watched. The lion looked at Wee Wretch. Mavis wondered what he was going to do and took a step back in case it wasn't something nice. Just then, right in front of Wee Wretch, the lion smiled. A big smile. Hello, he said. I am Fernando. Fernando the lion, rar. And I am very happy to meet you, Mr. Puppy. Well, he was very polite, wasn't he? In no time at all, Fernando the Lion had told Wee Wrench all about how he had just come to Fluffy Gardens and was hoping to get to know everyone. The 
they chatted and laughed together. While Mavis watched at a safe distance, feeling rather shy. At least, for a while. Soon, she saw that this strange lion was actually very friendly. He had a big smile and liked to laugh. Fernando the lion was quite lovely. And feeling a little less shy, she introduced herself. That day, we reached the puppy and Mavis the pony laughed and played with Fernando the lion. They had so much fun together. As Mavis gave him a big hug, she realized that all it takes to turn a stranger into a friend is to get to know them. And Fernando was a good friend indeed. Late that evening, Mavis was actually very sad. She didn't want Fernando to leave. Fernando smiled. Rawr, he said, which is something lions like to say. I'm not going anywhere. And he showed Mavis his lovely new house. This is my house. I'm going to live here with all of you. And just as the penguin builders put the last touches to Fernando's lovely new house, they stopped fatigue.